Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update, recording this on Saturday, October 14th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades for the week. The big story obviously happened on Friday when volatility absolutely exploded. The VIX was up over 20% on Friday in one day. Uh, you know, we started the week uh, let's see the ninth right here. So we started the week with VIX up over 19 and it absolutely just got crushed, started contracting and got a little pop on Thursday. And then Friday was the volatility explosion. So what's, what's interesting about that is a, that's a big move in the VIX for one day. But the interesting part is typically if you have that big of a move in the VIX in one day, then you're going to see some serious downside in the S&P 500, right? Because VIX measures the 30-day at-the-money options of SPX. But the reality was th that the S&P was only down about a half percent, uh, a little more than half percent at its lowest, but yet the, the VIX exploded. So as, as you'll see from my trades, um, you'll see I started peeling off some trades. I'll kind of touch on some of those that I, that I just got out of early when you see volatility expanding like this and, and the market's not necessarily moving in a way that is congruent with this type of volatility, that always makes me a little bit nervous, meaning there is something going on behind the scenes that we may not all know yet. And so I just started really reducing risk across the board on a lot of different positions. Didn't didn't dump all my positions by any means, but I but I certainly close some trades, which I very, very, very rarely do. Usually, you know, most of my trades are very mechanical. Uh, I held, I hold them for a specific amount of time or I hold them for specific parameters in, in, in uh, you know, price underlying movement. But on Friday, that, that made me a little nervous. I just, I felt like I needed to reduce risk across the board. So that's what I did. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what plays out the rest of this weekend and early next week when the market opens back up. Could be just a little fear about, you know, the Israel war, things going on there. There might be something else going on. We don't know. So we'll see as that kind of unfolds. NASDAQ down also, kind of same market movement. Russell uh, a little bit weaker, you know, continuing to push down near those recent lows and the Dow uh, not quite as weak. In fact, when the when vol when the VIX was up nearly twenty percent, at one point the Dow was green on the day, which is just kind of nutty. Um, gold, big bounce. Silver, big bounce. Uh, notes and bonds uh, had a little bit of a bounce on Friday, but had that big uh, big pullback on Thursday. Ten year yield closed the week at four point six one, a little bit lower. For the end of the week, uh, oil big bounce back on Friday after it's been seeing some weakness here the last couple of weeks. Natty gas a uh, little drawdown the later part of the week to close lower, and the grains. Let me just look at soybeans as as the uh, as a barometer up big up on Thursday, kind of kind of an inside sidebar on uh, on Friday. The euro and the pound lower, which obviously relative to that is the US dollar which would be higher and then bitcoin hanging around 27,000. All right, so that's a quick look at the markets. Let's take a look at our trades for the week. Had a uh, a big week with zero DTE. Uh you can see these are all my zero DTE trades for the week. Uh almost 39,000 in profits for the week on zero DTE. Let's break these down uh a little in a little bit more detail. So I had a couple of personal um, personal bests this week. So uh, let's start with AM ratio. So had uh, had four of those. Had one on Monday, book 2,800. Had one on uh, nothing set up on Tuesday. Wednesday, plus 4,900. Thursday, uh, this was the discretionary one, as you can see here. So it didn't really set up, but I ended up taking one and booked a little over 1700 and then got smoked out of one on Friday. By the way, you'll see this is open. That's just because the longs that I let expire uh, have not settled yet, but that's that's closed. So plus 36.40 on the uh, morning iron condors. On the DKS, I really just took one of these um, and booked uh, 1700 
on the other one, you can see is discretionary. It wasn't it wasn't the real uh, setup. I wanted to get wider, so I did a, on a little bit of a discretionary basis. And then when volatility started exploding, I ended up just scratching it, taking a small ninety three dollar loss. Zero DTE ducks. So just one of those plus one thousand three forty. Uh, no FOMC trades, obviously. JSPs took a little hit on these. So had three of them, small loss on one, small win on one. That was discretionary. And then the, the big one I lost 4,900 on. That was a discretionary trade as well. So about minus 4,900 for the week on JSPs. And then the big winner was Power Hour. So I had a couple of personal bests on Power Hour. The first would be my total profit for the week, almost 36,000 just on power hour. Uh, so that's a personal best as far as a, a week of profits on power hour goes. So that's awesome. Uh, and then the other personal best I had was on Monday. That was my biggest one day profit for power hour booked almost 21,000 just on Monday. Uh, and you can see on 15 trades over 83% win rate, which is uh, pretty high for power hour typically hovers closer to around 60 ish percent winners. Uh, so awesome, awesome stuff for power hour. And then I'm going to group the, uh, PM ratios and the quiet lunches together. I didn't, uh, I think I just had three of these. Yeah. So, uh, quiet lunch on Monday was a loser minus 5,600 quiet lunch on Wednesday for plus 4,800. And then on, um, Wednesday also did a PM PM Iron Condor for plus 1500. So small green on that group of trades. And then lastly for zero DTE, my buddy Rick. So with Rick had uh, one winner for plus 2000. This one should have been a winner. Ended up being a $2,400 loser. You can see I flagged myself for mismanaging that one. I, I was trying to I, I had a couple of different setups that I was looking at that morning and ended up kind of fat fingering and, and entering the trade wrong. And instead of just closing it out and correcting it, I said, ah, let's just see what happens. Well, that's what happened. Minus 2,400 where it should have been plus 2,000. So that's unfortunate. Uh, so plus 2,000 minus 2,400 and then plus 819. That's not right. Let me refresh here. So total Rick uh, plus 429 for the week. All right, so that's zero DTE on the dynamic butterfly front, no closed trades, which is not normal. We usually have a couple of time flies closed, but we've got three open, uh, none, no closed trades for the week. And then dynamic calendars. Let me get all these clicked. I didn't trade all of them, but just to make sure, let me get them all clicked. Ended up a little bit red overall on calendars due to really one, one trade, one position. And that was the, that was this one here. This is a, a single calendar that I turned into a double, ended up getting hit for minus 4,400. Uh, all the other trades were pretty good. Had a 4.7 for plus 1,000, 3.6 was a scratch, a 3.5 small profit, 1.2 for small profit, a single, single calendar. This is another one that I bailed on on Friday based on the volatility explosion. So just took off it, took it off for small profit. Had a 790 winner on a 1-2, a 385 winner on a 1-3, a scratch on a 1-2, and these other two are open. And that's a 5-7 and a 3-6 that we have open. And then lastly, oh, not lastly, Iron Ducks. Had a few winners in the Iron Ducks. One was uh, for 490. That was one that I probably would have held longer, closer to the bell. But with that volatility explosion on Friday, I ended up just bailing on that. Still booked 80% uh, of max profit ish. Uh, so plus 490, and then a couple small winners plus 185, plus 156. So 831 total for ducks on the week. And then lastly, where I took a hit. Oh, wait, no. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I did take a little hit on option selling too, though. Minus 4,300. So uh, $800 loss on gold. This is another one I bailed on based on what was going on with the price of gold and the volatility explosion. Uh, bailed on this one for scratch. Bailed on this one. Ended up being a minus 3,700 on the NASDAQ. Uh, a couple small winners. Um, IWM. A couple small winners on VXX. 
and then um, a small loss on on the ES Hedgehog. Now, lastly, is the portfolio margin trades. This is where I took my biggest hit, and it makes sense because with these portfolio margin type positions, there's a lot of negative Vega trades. And so took a, uh, took a loss of 15, about 15 K on these. Um, so plus 1200 on a ratio diagonal minus 3,600 on a Humpty. Uh, these two with the toss up upload issues uploaded one is SPX and the other one is SPX W. So I, I actually couldn't combine those. So, uh, if, if you net those out, that's minus about, uh, what is that? Seven, about 7,000 ish. So just those combined. And then another minus 2,200 on a Humpty minus 155 on a Humpty minus 800 on a Humpty plus 3,500 on a Humpty minus 3,900 on a Humpty minus 1,500 on a hedgehog. And the rest of these are open. So it's a, it was a, it was an interesting week. So that's it for the trades, but just to give you an idea, you know, just taking a look at the chart, um, you can see here. So Monday was one of my biggest days of the year. Tuesday was another big day profit wise. Wednesday was about break even Thursday was about break even. I think maybe down a little bit. And then Friday when this happened, I just had too, way too much short Vega and got hammered on Friday and had to just scale out of some of those positions to reduce risk and just kind of scale down. So, Still net net a good week overall. Uh, I thought it was just at the beginning, <laughs> midway, actually through Thursday, I thought it was going to be a monster week, uh, but ended up giving some back on Friday. But uh, that's how trading goes, right? Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Take care. Talk to you next week.